Hello everyone, Kevin here. In this week's episode, I take another look back into Oklahoma history as we explore the tragedy at Bab Switch. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. On a cold winter's evening in 1924, it was a time of celebration as the community of Bab Switch gathered for a Christmas Eve party. About 200 men, women, and children crowded into the one-room schoolhouse. It was standing room only for the Christmas program. Songs were sung, speeches made, and fellowship was had by all. At the end of the program, who would appear but Santa Claus handing out gifts to the children? And then came the fire. It spread rapidly. Within minutes, the school was an inferno. All rushed to get out the single door, but it quickly became jammed by the crowd. Many were trampled, trying to escape the flames. Some tried to get out to the windows, but they found the way barred. The dead and injured were driven to Hobart, Oklahoma, the nearest sizable town. When Christmas Day arrived, it was found that Thirty-two had died. Four more would pass away from their injuries later, bringing the total to thirty-six. Most of the dead were children, and whole families were lost. So what happened? How did a Christmas party end in such tragedy? The fire was started by the Christmas tree. It was lit by candles. Someone bumped a tree, and it quickly caught the paper decorations and dry needles on fire. The ceiling had been freshly painted for the occasion with white oil paint, which made the flyer flash over once it reached the ceiling. The light wooden construction of the schoolhouse offered no fire protection. There was no firefighting equipment in the building or even running water anywhere near the school. The windows had heavy screens on them to prevent vandalism and wind damage, so people couldn't get out that way and the main door opened inward. As the crowd rushed the door, it was hard to open. Some good came out of this sadness. Publicity over the fire led to stricter fire safety measures and regulations for schools and public buildings around the nation. So if you would, take a moment the next time you exit a public building and the doors open outward, and give a thought to those at Bab Switch. If you're ever over by Hobart, Oklahoma, please stop by and take a look. If you go, visit the uh, Courthouse Square. Uh, The courthouse itself is an impressive building, and they have this really neat mosaic on the courthouse grounds I think you'll like. Plus, there's some great museums there in the area. And if you have time, take a drive four miles south of Intersection State Highway 9 and US 183. That's east of Hobart. And there you're going to find a historic marker dedicated to the memory of those lost at Bab Switch. It's a tall granite marker. You can't miss it. And it's also at a roadside picnic table. So, you know, take a break and uh, look that marker over. I'll have uh, pictures and links to more information about the Bab Switch fire in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There you're going to find many, many hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to write about your favorite piece of Oklahoma history. I look forward to reading it. 
Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get all of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.